All right, we're rolling. All right, cool. All right, guys. Uh, Tuesday, right? <laughs> okay, so we got two pieces, right? We're gonna do a gymnastics piece where it's essentially skill work based on wherever we're at right now, um, and then a little, not little, uh, but some some sprint or high effort breathing set. So first thing with a warm up, right? Keeping it really basic. It's gonna be two rounds. Bear crawl, 20 foot forward, 20 foot backwards. If you don't have that kind of space where you're at, you can do 10 forward, 10 back, perhaps times two. But for the bear crawl, we're gonna to try to keep our shoulders and hips level, and we're trying to just move through this. Sometimes we call this a robotic dog, okay? So I'm trying to keep as though I had maybe a lacrosse ball on my back. Oops, sorry, buddy. Um, then we're gonna go into some dead bugs. So we'll be on to our backs. We can do bent knees. A little more advanced version would be straight legs, but let's say I'm here, opposite arm, opposite leg, extend out, bring it back to the center. Okay, we're trying to keep our lower back pinned down there to the floor, all right, neck neutral, and we're going through that 20 times. Then we're gonna go into a little plank bridge. So we've been working with this reverse plank a lot, mostly because we don't have access to do a lot of pull-up work or upper pulling work, so we're gonna try to keep our scaps nice and strong. But I'm just gonna go into similar to that reverse plank with this bridge, and I'm just gonna kind of rock, right? I can push my hips forward and come on back, okay? Hips forward, come on back, try to bring my hips as high as I can. I should feel a good stretch through the front of my shoulders there, right? And then also starting to get maybe some activation through my upper back. So 30 seconds of rocks there. Two rounds through that, and then we can go right into this. So we haven't written as three movements, but Feel free to spend more or less time on any movement that you want to work on more. First is going to be some kind of handstand work or inversion. So if you have space, let's say you're in your driveway or you're outside, or maybe you do have space in your house, we can do some handstand walking and working on that. Otherwise, we can do a handstand hold perhaps up against the wall as we normally would. So we go chest to uh, the floor, walk ourselves up, and then try to stay in that nice tight position. For this, guys, again, we're all about trying to maintain solid position through our midline. So this is gonna be this hollow body position as I press through the floor from upside down. If you have somebody with you, okay, um, a corn team perhaps, then you can do maybe some uh, partner assisted handstands where I kick up, all right, and then the other person is gonna spot me with the arm. All right, we do that for walking. Then we have uh, pistols or single leg balancing. So pistols would be that single leg squat, working on one leg off, right, coming all the way down or we could just work on the balance there where I'm here, I bring my other leg up, right? This we call a front scale. I could also work that with the back scale, right? So similar to our single leg RDL, but just working on this balance stuff, okay? I could also do these as a step up or step off, maybe lateral, something like that. We're just gonna say 20 to 30 seconds each side. Then L center tucks it variation. So, if you have the strength in your hands and you're strong on the L-sit, we could actually do these right on the floor, all right? So this would be my L-sit position. Now, most folks will need to elevate that. If I have some dumbbells, great, I could work on that. If I'm doing, say, a tuck sit, okay, we're gonna have to find something maybe a little bit higher. So maybe we could stack a couple of books, okay? Or if I have two chairs that I could go between, and I'm gonna work on that tuck sit position. I'll show with the chairs just because I have them here, okay? Ideally, these would be on something that would prevent them from sliding, but I'm going to make sure my weight is solid into here, and then I'm just going to bring my knees up, all right? So this would be my tuck hold position. I could also work on extending legs from here, all right? Coming in and out, same thing. We're going to say 30 to 60 seconds. That could be accumulated depending on how hard of a variation you have. We could do all three of these in cycle three. We could pick two, right? However you want to play. Then it's going to go every two minutes for 16 minutes. And the goal here is that we're working for the minority of time here. So for example, we're saying these are high effort sprints. Hopefully we're going less than 45 seconds each time. We're given two options. So one is gonna be body weight, okay? It's gonna go 12 walking lunges. And again, the goal is to move quickly. So if I can go knee down, right, right out, do maybe six out, come six back, and then 12 no push up burpees over an object. Now you can decide whether or not you wanna do this over a small dumbbell, over something like that, or maybe you do them in place, but the no push-up burpee. I'm gonna make sure that my arms stay straight. So as soon as I come down, right, I'm pushing into the floor. I'm not just letting myself bend. If I come down super relaxed, right, now I'm gonna have to push myself up out of that, and that's just extra work. So, hands to the floor, kick back, come in, 
hop, kick back, hop, all right? Now, if I can do both of these movements, again, complete them in 45 seconds or so or less, I'll keep it at that. Otherwise, what I could do is maybe knock this down to, let's say, eight, or again, maybe I take the hop out. But again, the purpose here is to move quickly. We're saying it's every two minutes for 16 minutes, so eight sets, or once you start to slow down a lot. So let's say your first set is 30 seconds, okay? We're hanging on there, maybe you're in the 35, 36 second range, and then come set six, you're just totally smoked, right? You can't recover within that time. Pushes out to maybe 50 seconds, set seven, you're over a minute, we'll just cut it there, okay? Once you're really, really slowing down, you're not getting the purpose or the intended stimulus anymore, we'll just stop, okay? Other option here for folks that maybe want to go a bit heavier or have a barbell, we're going to do four hang power cleans, okay? So with the barbell, anywhere above the knee, catch, back down, right? Hitting those hang power cleans. This is going to be something that will be tough, but unbroken, right? We're not going to have to do these as singles. Again, we only have two minutes and it's supposed to be fast, fast. So we're going to do four at something that is challenging to us, but we can move bar quickly. And then eight burpees over the bar with a lateral hop. For folks doing this, because the hang power clean will be faster, we'll do full burpees, right? So chest to deck, hop over the bar, and it's fewer reps. So, um, so those are the options there. One other piece that we offered out, if you have a bike, a rower, or something like that, or maybe you want to run, you have space to do that, we gave just an all cyclical option, right? So it's going to be 60 seconds of work at 85 to 90%. Right, which is a three to four minute pace. So something that you could hold on to for three to four minutes. Hey, George. I'm looking at my Oh, cool. That's great. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so, uh, so it's 60 seconds of work, 60 seconds of rest, okay? We're gonna go anywhere from six to eight rounds like that. Again, same idea. If your effort starts to go down significantly and you can't recover in those 60 seconds, don't push it all the way to eight. In fact, you probably should have went slower from the beginning. But six to eight sets, so 12 to 16 minutes. We'll take a three to four minute break and then we'll repeat that. Of course, what we want to try to see if you're on a bike row or whatever it is, is interset repeatability. So you're getting the same amount of cows or meters each time, all right? And then same thing on both sides, both sets, all right? So intraset. So um, these are the options for Tuesday. Let us know if you have questions. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.